Hey, I've got a question. Were you there? Were you there when a young girl betrothed to be married was visited? Were you there when she was told that she would give birth to the Messiah, Savior for the whole world? Were you there after his birth in Bethlehem when Herod's soldiers frantically were breaking down doors in search to kill the one who would challenge all authority? Were you there? Were you there when the angel told Joseph to take Mary and flee with the Son of God to safety in Egypt? Were you there as he grew up? Were you there when he sat in the temple and he spoke with authority on God's word like they'd never seen, leaving the old teachers awestruck in wonder? Were you there when he started that ministry? Were you there on the shore? Did you hear him as he called out to those weary fishermen to cast their nets over the side of their boat one more time? Were you there as they had a catch like they had never seen? But he called to them, come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Were you there? Were you there when he did the impossible? Were you there when he turned water into wine? Were you there when he was in a rocky boat, his disciples scared for their lives and he just calmly stood up and told the storm, be still. And it was. Were you there when he spat down in some mud, took it, placed it on a blind man's eyes, and restored his sight? Were you there when he gave permission to demons to leave one of his creations, a child of God, a possessed man, alone? Were you there? Were you there when he told the woman who had touched his clothes that her faith had made her well? <laughs> Were you there when he told a man who was, who was an invalid since birth to get up, take his mat, and walk? Were you there when he himself walked upon the water? Were you there? amongst the mourners when he looked at to a tomb and told the dead man Lazarus to come out. Were you there when Lazarus, still wrapped in his grave clothes, walked out and was amongst them? Were you there when his cousin baptized him and the heavens opened up and Almighty God called out, This is my son with whom I love and am well pleased. Were you there as he fasted in the desert and the father of lies came up to tempt him and three times he pulled him, he tore him away with the word of God saying, get away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Were you there? Were you there when he was transfigured, clothes dazzling white, and his skin shining like the sun? And God declared again in a loud, clear voice, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. Were you listening? Were you listening? when he prayed to his father about the pain he knew he was about to endure, 
saying, Lord, if it be your will, to take this cup of suffering from me, but not my will, but your will be done, Father. Were you listening? Were you listening when they read the charges they arrested him for? You're the son of God. You say that you can forgive sin. Were you listening as he remained silent at his accusation? Were you listening when Pilate laid down punishment? When the soldiers mocked him, placed a crown of thorns on his head, asking him to prophesy which one would hit him next? Were you listening as he cried out in pain as they flogged him again and again? Were you listening as the hammer struck the nail that went through his feet and his hands? Were you listening as the crowd accused his friends one by one saying, I'm pretty sure you were with him, but in fear and confusion, they denied even knowing him. Were you listening? when they cried bitterly. When they cried bitterly at seeing their God, when the rooster crowed the third time and his friend Peter was overtaken with grief and sorrow. Were you listening as the thunder cracked, the sky turned black, clouds turned gray and called out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Were you listening when he called out and he finally yelled, it is finished. Have you heard? Have you heard? They've started an underground church. Have you heard? They placed him in Joseph's tomb, Joseph of Arimathea. He was one of the members of the Jewish High Council. Have you heard? Have you heard that Rome placed guards around a stone sealing that tomb where he's laying? Have you heard that three days later those guards weren't anywhere to be found? That three women were there seeking to mourn their Savior? said that they found him, that he wasn't dead, he was alive, he spoke to them. They saw him. Have you heard? Have you heard that he appeared again amongst his friends, amongst his followers, still having the marks in his hands and on his feet, still having a gouge in his side where the spear had pierced him three days ago, Have you heard that he told his disciples to go into the world and make disciples of all nations? Have you heard that he promised to prepare a place in heaven for them and for you and for me and that he's coming back again to take us there? Have you heard that there's a church right now proclaiming him as Lord and Savior calling us to be in the world for him in his name? Well, are you listening now? Who are you listening to? What will you say about Jesus of Nazareth? Will you follow his ways and the world says that you're crazy? Will you follow when his ways don't make sense even to you? Will you trust? Will you trust enough to tell others that they need to know about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? Our Savior lives. Our Savior reigns. Our Savior loves you. So, tell me, who do you say he is?
I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Revelation 22, 13. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John 8, 12. For there is one God and one meditator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 2.5 As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last, he will take his stand on the earth. Job 19.25 I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lay down, or lays down his life for the sheep. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the, of the throne of God. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live and even though they die. John 11, 25. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Psalm 118, 22. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, 